What's the best feeling in sports? A walk-off Grand Slam to win the World Series, a game-winning three to win the NBA Finals, or a Hail Mary catch to win the Super Bowl? Am I catching or throwing this last one Super Bowl? Grand catch. Slam. I feel like catch because the catcher is the one who's going to be more remembered in that scenario, even though, like, usually the quarterback's a better person, but, like, you're the guy who caught it. Like, Odell is the one who caught the catch or whatever. Nobody is like, oh, Eli threw that great pass. Nah, I'm saying Grand Slam. Grand Slam? Yeah, I feel like Nothing Grand Slam. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm agreeing with Grand Slam, a grand and I'm not even a big basketball. I'm not even a big baseball guy. Because gra- things you have to think, Grand Slam, there's probably, well, like, 50,000 50, plus people in there. They're standing up on their feet as you get to bat because they know what it is. The fucking lights start flashing in that stadium. And you can feel the intensity. Like, it, it's, yeah, I feel I like think, that'd be fucking amazing. I think it's just because it's just so low percentage to even hit a home run in general. Yeah. And then, then on top of that, to do a grand slam. Like, you're down three. Ninth yeah. inning, bottom, the bottom of the ninth, bases are loaded. I feel, Two like, outs. I feel like you can feel, I feel like you can feel it. recently, though. I feel like there was a Grand Slam to win recently. There's been a it lot. It wasn't like I mean, to win the series, yeah, yeah, but I feel like it was a big game. I think this season overall for baseball has been very good. Yeah, they've been a lot. When they added in that pitch clock and stuff, and I got like guys like Shohei, Shohei Otani in there, just fucking goes crazy. I think it just that would be fire. Right. That would be fire. I could, I could, I could see it. Everybody is gonna be up out of their fucking seat. Like, yeah, I think that'd be hard. I feel like even the start of the new inning and when it switches over, like I feel like the home team is at you know batting and whatnot. People are instantly already on their feet, just going crazy. Oh yeah, because motherfuckers went to a Cubs game without me. I've been hey, saying, I think hey, I said it on this podcast. Hey. I want to go to a Cubs game, and not just one of you motherfuckers went to a Cubs game. Both of you motherfuckers went to a Cubs game. Ooh. Angelo was at the Cubs game. When? The same Cub game you were at. Was he? Yes, he said it in the group chat. He went with his um. His his aunt's uh, work, uh, bo- her boss or something like that, went and, and had tickets and stuff, but her aunt didn't want to go, and her, the rest of the family didn't want to go except for the uncle. So he went hey. with the uncle in place in place of the rest of the family. Angela was there? He was at the same game. He told me he was at the gym. Oh. And he's, I think he said it in the thing, but he said oh, he was there. That. He said he went with his uncle. And I was on, I was I was like so motherfucker. Actually, I don't think I he said anything. For him then. He didn't say anything because I asked him when we were in there. He was like, "Yeah, I was there too." And I was like, "What?" He's like, "Yeah, I was at the game too." And I was like, "So you let Mirage take the fucking the, the <laughs> shit? Me, me being mad, but you were at the game and didn't say nothing." Yeah, so he was there too. Oh shit, that was a good game too. I, bet I, I was there too. Was. I was working. Hey, yeah, motherfucker, if you was there. I'm about to raise hell. <laughs> I was working. I'm about to fucking said, raise hell. I go to a game, we could go. So what? But you went to a game and didn't because say nothing. My brothers were like, going and buy tickets, and we went. Nah. Well, you went to the Bucks game. You told me like the day of. I was like, yo, you trying to go to a Bucks game tonight? I was like, yeah. Well, I got to buy. I just got to buy the tickets. All right, bet. Bought the tickets. See, right, it's cool though. It's cool because because yeah. I'm going to the Cubs game tonight. You go to a Cubs game tonight. I'm gonna slash all four of your tires. I'm and going, you're not going nowhere. Uh, I'm definitely. We could go the during the tonight, week. Man. You get tickets for like under twenty bucks. I'm down. Let me know. Nah, nigga, you let me know because you go and then. All right, all right, I'll pick a day. One of these days is coming. If I wasn't so broke, I'd go to a game. I mean, no, you go to a weekday game, evening game for like $20. $20? Yeah, that, you should sit in good seats. Only thing is, parking costs more than the fucking ticket. Yeah, well, no, no, you, you should probably be taking the train down there. Anyway. Taking a train on a weekday? I mean, you could do that or you could just drive. I mean, I, to me, it's easier just to drive. Then you, gotta, you, don't, you, you don't have to wait on the train schedule. Just go on your own schedule. Mm I don't know. I, I, I just like going on the train. Because yeah. it's just like you're not even worrying about like how you get in there. Like you just know you won't get there. Hmm. We could do, if, if we do the weekend, I'll be down to go on the train. Weekend? But weekday, I, I, weekday, love, I don't think I love so. going on public transportation. Love it. <laughs> Why? What, because what? I don't have to drive and none of us have to drive. I mean, but you have to drive to the train. Yeah, it's 15 minutes. <laughs> I don't have to drive an hour and 30 and deal with traffic. Crazy ass people in Chicago. That's true. That oh, is very true. It's not true. the worst. Yeah, it's not. What do you mean it's not the worst? I mean, I, I did. I know issues, and I feel like all afterwards go get food anywhere you want. Yeah, because you like driving. I yeah, like you driving. get the freedom to. Just you could fool me, motherfucker. You always driving. Hell no, I fucking hate driving. 
I, I, I can't stand that shit. Once you get older, you realize that that's just a chore. I feel like as when you're younger, right before you have your license, you're like, Yo, I can't wait to drive so I can go wherever I want, do whatever I want. One of the biggest things as a kid that I couldn't wait to do was like, yo, it's 12 o'clock at night. I'm hungry as hell. I can go get myself something to eat. Then I got older and realized, one, everything is closed. Mm -hmm. And two, I don't want to leave my house at this point anymore. Yeah. But as a kid, that was like the dopest shit in the world to me. Well, when I was like 18, 19, I would do that shit. But I also feel like now... If I just drive, I just have the freedom just to leave whenever I want if I'm out somewhere. Yeah, but like now, nice. now if you do that shit, it's concerning. It's like, what are you doing with your life? If you leave at 12? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like, it's like, 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 unless you're working late nights or like, that's, you're, that's your schedule. That's the other thing. It's like, but like, you gotta get you, up in the morning. If you up that late, that's like, what's wrong with you, man? But I, honestly, I think it's even crazy if you door dash your food at like 12 o'clock at night. Like, what are you and doing then, with no, yourself? And then the fact you're waiting. You don't know when that shit's gonna show up. Yeah, Nate, and th that's the other thing. If you're gonna get food late at night, the stuff that is open, the lines are crazy. Ridiculous. You ever been to a Taco Bell late at night trying to get food? <laughs> like you'd be sitting in there like six well, cars deep, and you're like, "Is this shit even well, open?" Right is, now? It, even if it's not even six cars deep, if there's one car in there, best believe they probably ordered like fifty, hundred Something. tacos. Like ten. I, I, I had that shit happen to me multiple times, where like it'll be like one car. They're like, "Yeah, like you want to wait forty minutes." We're like, what? And they're like, yes, the, the car had you just ordered a hundred tacos. <laughs> that shit's fun. like, what are you? What are your plans tonight with these hundred tacos <laughs> after this? Like, bro, it's, it's I would just tell, let's tell them straight up now. Like, hey, twenty and you good? Like, there's no we way. We cutting you off. We capping you. There's no way. I, th I mean, this no is, one. You have to have a limited menu or some shit. At that I point. could barely yeah. get through a taco twelve pack by myself. No, nah, I could bang a taco. And that was like well. when I was weighing like two hundred pounds. That was when I was eating good. I could bang a taco twelve pack. You you barely get through it. No, nah, I'm, I'm 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 actually got room to spare. Taco Bell is light as fuck. I've never eaten Taco Bell in before. No, dude, that sour cream starts fucking killing. Oh, me. I don't eat sour cream. Uh, I, I don't eat sour cream. You get the loaded well. though. I get it everything. <laughs> you get the, the is it the not the deluxe? It's, 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 it's supreme. Supreme. No, give me. I hate I hate hearing motherfuckers order Taco Bell and everything they get. Make it supreme. Make it, it supreme. It reminds me of like supersize it or something. Which that's the thing. I'm I'm mad that I never got to experience the supersize it. Like for McDonald's and shit, I feel like that would have been I mean, so dope I think to say. It's just the large, right? Or was it bigger than the large? It was the bigger than the large. But so like people would go and they'd be like, but they like the large that exists now. Yeah, it was bigger than the large. How many ounces was that shit? I don't like know. Like sixty four. But I know there was a small, yeah, medium, I, large, and super size. Because the, the large is what sixty four or thirty two. I don't yeah, know. I think, I think like it's 64. A, I, I think it's like a 32 or 44. 64 is crazy. Or no, I think it's 32 because I think some places have like the... The law where you can't do over 32. No, no. Shit. Like I think Sonic has it's like the Route 44 or some shit. It's like a 44 ounce. Where it's like some places have some shit like that. Or you like the Speedways. Or Big Gulp. Yeah. Where it's like the fucking gallon jug. Yeah, because I think it's like the 44 ounce or like something or like maybe even like a half gallon. Half kill. That shit's wild. This the fucking to be walking out with that shit. Yeah, look how big that fucking fry is. That shit's massive. They said it was a forty-two ounce fry. Okay, what's a large ounce fry? fry? What's a large fry now? Ounce fry. Uh, but I mean, what's the size of a? You know how McDonald's is like the basket of fries now? Yeah. I feel like with those, they just they take like the medium fry or some shit mm -hmm. and just put it into a little basket. I don't think it's bigger more. than the fucking. Yeah, I don't think the it's large. Any the McDonald's. I'm about McDouble. McDouble. I think they're, like, they're making an easy one out for that. Oh, Let me yeah. see. Large. Uh, that's why I always get the basket of curds when I go to Buffalo Wild Wings. I haven't been to See, now they give me fucking long. different. Uh, they give it to me in grams. <laughs> the other one was 42 ounces, and this one's gram. Do the conversion. Okay, how many ounces in a large fry? Oh, okay. shit. 5.3 ounces in a large fry at McDonald's? Five point three ounces is roughly five point three ounces. That can't be right though, because they said the super size was forty two ounces. Forty two? Isn't that what it no, said? No, it has been grand. Forty two ounces. Forty? No. That's the super size. Your drink will be forty two ounces. Your fries will be seven ounces. Oh, okay. So yeah, my fault. I didn't read. I was okay. Your drink will be forty two, and your fries will be seven ounces. So the regular fry today is five. Is five? Yeah. So it's larger than the. the and then the today. large drink is what? Um, I don't know, nigga. You got a phone. Know, Help me out. It says that the the large no. Nah, you bro, you look. Oh wait, what was the other thing you were just? It's I don't know where it's I down here. 
Uh, order of fries at McDonald's is supposed to weigh approximately 150 grams, which converts to 5.3 ounces or a third of a pound. Damn, that's a lot. You know what I'm saying? How, mu- how much is a large drink? I think it's a 32. Because I think the small, ha- I mean, the other ones have to be about 16, 12. <clears throat> drink at McDonald's. Or 24, 16. 32, 24, 16, probably. Uh, uh, damn. How large? How, what size? Size of a large drink at McDonald's. 30. 30? Mm-hmm. What's the medium? 24. 21. 21. So then the super oh. size me was 42 ounces. Damn. So a super size me at McDonald's is 42, was 42 ounces. A regular large nowadays is 30 ounces. Yeah. And then the large fry today is 5.3 ounces. And the super size me was 7 ounces. That is insanity. But I still, I still think it would have been mad dope just to go to the drive thru and be like, "Yo," they'd be like, "Yo, would you like to supersize it?" And I'm like, "Yeah, supersize it." They'd be like, oh, shit, "Here you go again." <laughs> the, I, I, I just one of those weird things as a kid that I was like, "That would have been dope to do." Would have been mad dope. No wonder we were fucking huge. You couldn't still supersize are. a burger though, right? Yeah, you we said we were still are, <laughs> still are as still a country. Have that problem. What else was something that I, I couldn't wait to do as a kid? Then I got older and I was like, that shit wasn't it. Oh, I really wanted to work as a kid. I couldn't wait to work and make my own money. Like to the point where I didn't even like my mom giving me money just because I was like, I want to work for my money. And then I got older and I was like, yo, this shit trash. I, <laughs> I vividly remember telling my mom, yo, I can't wait to get a job, mom. I can't wait to work. I started working my first job in Meyer pushing carts. I was like, I hate that kid. I hate that kid that said he couldn't wait to start working. That shit was horrible out there in the sun. Every time I go out there nowadays, like if I go to go into Meyer and I see the kids sitting outside pushing the carts, I'm like, get out of here. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I'm looking back into the future and I'm like, what's that little video where the guy is like banging on the window and he's like, no, no. Yeah, and he's like to his older self or something. Dude, fuck yeah, first job was fucking... I mean, I feel like my first job, I mean, it wasn't even in the books, under the table. I was working as a busboy at a restaurant. And that shit was whack. Was well, what were your hours? Were you working like weekends? Yeah. I think you did trash. Just the weekends. But I was just doing just like, it was a dead buffet, like a lunch buffet thing. Okay. So it was like just three hours doing that. But I mean, three hours, I think I got like 50 or 60 bucks of straight cash. Damn. You know how much they paid me? I think they paid me below the legal limit. What, Meyer? Yeah, I think they were. They told me again. I'm a kid, so I don't know. But they were like, "Yeah, we can pay you less than minimum wage because you're not 18." Like yet. that's the wildest shit. They're like, like I know people at Culver's and shit. They're like, "Yeah, we're paying it. We're gonna pay you like 7.25 because we're, we're we're legally able to do that. So that's what we're gonna give you." I feel like Culver's. I thought Culver's would pay good. Not because Culver's technically are tipped employees, but ain't nobody tipped them. Though. Who the fuck thought to tip <laughs> Culver's employees? Well, that was well. The thing is, the law how it works here. And I think they recently changed it where, like, even though you're a tipped employee, you still have to get paid the minimum wage. Did they just change that? Yeah. So but, it's, but it's not for, like, servers and stuff, though, right? Yeah, so for servers. Like, if no, you're any a different tipped minimum wage. Servers That's have a like, different I understand that they have a different minimum wage, but if that minimum wage does not equal the minimum wage of $13 an hour... The employer has thirteen. Yes, it is thirteen dollars. That's an hour. for here, not Chicago. Here, Chicago, state of Illinois. Well, no, because I just saw in Chicago. There's some aldermen's trying to change it, the minimum wage for servers in Chicago to like thirty, uh, fifteen well, an hour. The, the, the reason plus that, tips. The, the reason that they want to change it is because employers do not pay the makeup. So, like, say for example that your tips do not do not allow you to make thirteen dollars an hour. Oh, I see it. Yeah, you're right, but it's only for eighteen and up. If you're eight, if you're under eighteen, it's ten fifty. Yeah. I wish. What is? What was that shit? It used to be seven eighty. Yeah. It used to be seven eighty, and okay, that's what they tried. To, I think they, that's what they paid me like six thirty or something. It's if the the old minimum wage is seven eighty an hour if you were over eighteen, and six thirty an hour if you were under eighteen. Yeah. That's insanity. But I mean, I feel like in like in the city and stuff, at some nice spots, if you're a server, you're making really good. Money yeah, you're there. you're you're clearing that shit. But I mean, you're working the most fucked hours. But you, you can make good money. Yeah. But it depends on how your employers, you know, deal with your tips because that's kind of the, the biggest issue them. with yeah. with servers is that managers 
will fuck you over on your tips hard if they can. Yeah, when I was working as a busboy at the restaurant, I never got I saw a single tip in that spot. When I worked, because you shouldn't be a tipped employee. The only person that should be tipped in that in that circumstance is the server. Well, there was a buffet. There was no because like, <laughs> then it becomes like a weird issue of like, well, now the server has to make the moral judgment call of how do I divvy up the tips between the busboy and the guy that's washing the dishes. I know a lot of, uh, not a lot of places, but some places just pull it. It's a pull. Everybody gets yeah. everybody gets it. That's illegal. You can't do that shit. Well, I've heard of a lot of places doing it. Tips are tips, tips are technically the property of the the server that's taking care of the table. I think this is trash, but I've I've definitely heard of places doing that. Yeah. Where they say we pull tips, so that's fucked. Cause... Your tip isn't your tip. We split it evenly amongst everybody. The cooks, because they feel like the cooks need to get it. The because they're the ones making it. The cooks are getting a, like a, a hourly tip, wage. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is yeah. like a cook, a dishwasher, and a and a busboy should not be tipped employees. They I should think be paid, I... They should be paid a regular hour because they're not front facing with the customer. They're not talking to them. All they're doing is just grabbing shit. I say yes, but at the same time, they're, they're just the middleman. But but hold on, but they're the middleman. But if you are, let's say like like if you go back there and the food isn't cooked the right way, well, like, that's why you're going to a restaurant. It's I, like, I mean, I think you're, the, you're going into a restaurant with the expectation that the food's going to be good. It depends on where no, you go. No, I'm, but I'm I'm, how... I'm so saying you're going that to a restaurant the, that the food's not going to be good. Damn, dude. Damn, like you're like, not gonna let me say it. Like I, I have to like, say it so that you can but, hear what I'm trying to say. They're not. They're not. T they shouldn't be. T you employees. don't even know what I'm saying, they and you're, ref not be you're refuting. Hold on, you're they're refuting not, what I'm saying, no, and I haven't even said it. You don't even have it. to say it because they it. should not be tipped employees. Straight up. I'm not saying that they should. I'm just saying that when you go to the restaurant, the the cooks. Are are the the server is reaping the benefits of like stuff that the cook does? Like they're like, yo, this food was so good. I'm tipping. I'm tipping extra. Like that's that's what I'm saying. So like, it's a nah, weird dynamic. I'm not. No, I'm not saying I've that. Never tip somebody extra. If, because if I'm gonna go into a spot and it's like known for the food supposed to be good, whatever, right? Like it's highly renowned, whatever. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna expect the great food. I'm not tipping the chef extra money because he did a great job. Oh, yeah. that, but the servers, they're kind of like sales people. They're gonna be like, "Oh, try this dessert. Oh, I recommend this. These are our specials for the day." Are you gonna piss if your stuff is incorrect or not done the way that you would like it? Yeah, that, that is that works. gonna dictate your tip. That, so, but that's also that's the cook who did that. I feel like at the end of the day, really even if I get shit, I'm gonna still do the minimum because, like eighteen. At the end of the day. Because it, it, so it, it so really then it doesn't happen. matter. It doesn't matter what happens with your stuff. Then you're going to give them the minimum. I know. I know. I mean, it depends where I, I'm I know a lot of people who get know. pissed, who get pissed and take food away because of like that food was disgusting. That food was undercooked. That food was, that food was not good. They're basing. I'm not just solely. I'm not saying solely the, the presentation that the server gives is a part of it as well. But I'm saying it, they also include like, how was my food? If my food was trash, that's not on the server, but the tip is only going to the server, and that's influencing their meal, their their tip. But I'm, it's like, it's not on them. It, I know it's not. I know that's, so, I mean, I, that's your job to fucking cook. Yeah. The same shit. But that's also menu. like, you're, yeah, but but your lack of cooking it correctly is influencing this this server. But it's also just knowing the etiquette of a restaurant. It's just like you know when you're. A lot of people food. don't know it though. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people, they, if your shit is wrong, if your food is wrong, you're mad. A lot of people are mad like, at the server. And not, right, if you've worked in a real restaurant industry. of the time, it is the server's fault. If, you're, if your food isn't cooked medium but, well like you want, it's the but server's that, fault? No, no, no it's no, not. The thing is, 99% of the time, it is. No, but let me tell you this. Let's say it's not right, and you bring it up, hey, this wasn't right. And let's say server's like, I'll take it back, we'll fix this. Hey, we'll throw in a free yeah, dessert or some shit for you. Yeah, like most of the I, time, the server has the ability to save that shit. Last time I went to a spot in the city, and I ordered a drink, and the guy completely forgot about my drink. And then he went and got it, and he's like, oh, it's on us. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it was other times in another spot, and then they gave us our drinks. She completely forgot to put in our food, put in the order, and then she's like, "All right, your drinks are all free today. Just pay for your food." Yeah, like I've had it where like the waitress forgets to put in the the ticket, and then they're yeah. like, "Oh, like you know, we have an appetizer here for you." No, I agree. I agree. With that. I'm just saying. I think that there's there's aspects of it that 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 person can't control. But like you said, that they fix it, they have the yeah. ability to fix it. I can agree with that. If they're gonna go all the way, fix it, make it right, whatever. Then shit, I'll still, you know, I appreciate that the effort that they put into that. 
But yeah, I I, I think, but I I just been in situations where people take that into account. Y'all have y'all have been in a restaurant industry in a certain capacity. You've had restaurant experience. You've had restaurant experience. Most people haven't had that that experience like you guys have had and been in the back of the kitchen so their their thought process is i'm tipping for my experience i'm not tipping for this specific waiter i'm tipping for how i was treated here today so i'm not cognizant of oh that that's not their fault like how many times have you been like even customer service people will call and be like yo y'all charge my car for this shit i'm mad as fuck and you're yelling at the person on the line when they're not the one who did it that's a that's an accounting issue but you're yelling at the person on the phone a lot of people direct their anger and their issues with the person that is the representative so that that's all oh, i'm yeah, saying but, I mean, I that, that's all that, i'm saying I is like in that role. But that, but that's i know but that's what i'm saying it's the, a lot of people who are who are naive which is most people they don't take into account that like oh this isn't the server's fault but the server is going to take the hit for it because of the the bet the way that this shit tasted yeah, or the way like, that this happened they'll get it but i mean if they're gonna go all the way to fix it then i mean at least they're you know compensating another way i mean there's other time i went to spot in fiamme and they I didn't realize this till like two days after they charged me for two calamaris, and then we fucking call the restaurants like, "Hey, I only got one. We didn't pay for two. And then they're like, "Oh yeah, cool." And they refunded like ten bucks to the account. Mm. So yeah. I mean, there's no questions asked. They just fucking did, did it. Yeah. It's also people will overreact. Hundred percent all the time. Hundred percent. So there's it's some like, there's some people who I guess who you, aren't. There's also people that you can't please at all. Hundred. Yeah. Michael? Yeah, I muted it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where it's just like, even if it didn't come out the exact way that you wanted it to, their experience is already miffed. It's like, there's that one clip of, uh, what was it, Hell's, not, was it Hell's Kitchen? They did the, Gordon Ramsay, like the show, then they're in the restaurant. Like they saved the kitchen? Team Blue. Oh, oh, no. Oh, yeah, and then some customer was trying to give him shit. Yeah, so the lady was, was like, this shit ain't made right. And then Gordon tried it, and he's like, no, this is fucking perfect. <laughs> Yeah, so it's just like you, you can't please everybody. Like I remember there was like customers that, because this was when Famous Dave's was still around. Famous there was Dave's. like I don't know if you I don't know if you went there frequently, and saw motherfuckers that would complain to get free food. The one were regulars, they would come in there regularly. They liked the food, because obviously you're not going there. Some people are just out just to yeah. finesse the system. Yeah. Yeah, so there's like there's tons of bad faith actors out there that are just there to f fuck up what's you know what's supposed to actually happen. It's like I mean, my friends, we went out to eat like last week. Sure, we all most of us got burgers. A lot of it was just super salty. But then we're I was just like, well, I know the restaurant, I know the people own it, all that stuff. I'm not going to just go and start a fit right now. Mm. I just let it be. Tip the waiter. She was really nice about everything. Really cool. I was like, I'm going to tip them out and then just leave and be on my way. I'm not going to throw a fit, argue or anything like that. But right you, you know what I think that is? I think that's a younger generation thing. Oh, the uh, older generation? Like some people are already just still feel like they're entitled. I don't know anybody my age who, who, who genuinely goes to restaurants and streets situations like that i won't escalate it but you'll you'll like w when we went to b-dubs that one time and i was broke and that motherfucker tried to give me shit about the fucking rent. <laughs> he, said, he said for like 25 cents he was like, like yeah for 25 he was like, like no oh. it was 60 cents he was like yeah i'll take off the 60 cent for the ranch and he put the emphasis on the 60 cent it was like yeah because like, he was mad because he had to get his manager to take off anything from the bill which i was like that's crazy usually there's a threshold yeah, where you have to ask to take cent, something like, off it's not crazy like i'm not trying to come at your life for that shit he was mad as hell <laughs> Ask if I'm on the tip for that shit. I'm just like, there's no way that you're just gonna fucking <laughs> just roast my ass right in front of the fucking table so and then bad. expect to get paid. Like, there's no way. Said, yeah, I'll take off. That that was the only experience I've ever had where like a waiter just lost his shit over nothing. Oh, that over nigga, nothing. He was. Huge. But I mean, I feel like beat ups also. You used to get a bunch of high schoolers and shit. Yeah, it was, it was like, like, like a Thursday too. Like, really hate the Thursday. Hate I understand that. I, I completely understand that. Like you, you having a tough day. I've had tough days. Yeah. I, I've been there. I've been there. 
But guess what? You ain't gonna roast the fucking customer <laughs> over no damn sixty cent and expect Dude, to get a two. I'm eating the as bad. Like I always work at the grocery store at Caputo's, and people go and look in the cake. They need to buy a cake, right? They be spiting all the cakes, and they'll see a cake with like a little frosting on the plastic lid of the thing, and they'll go to customer service, be like, "Hey, this cake is damaged. Can I get a little discount on it?" And they'll be like, "No, just go grab a different cake from the fucking cooler." Like, what are you doing? Haggles <laughs> for cake. I never knew that was even a thing. You go start bargaining at the damn grocery store because they think they're gonna catch somebody who's like timid or something, and then they're gonna be like, "Yeah, yeah, we can give you something." It's like, like, no, get the fuck out of here. So you're gonna go out of your way, fucking but, go look at all these cakes for what damaged cake? But cakes are expensive nowadays, though. My mom, they are. Just, they are. My mom just got one from my because uh, later on today we're going to my brother's baby shower or whatever and stuff. Um, for the kid he's about to have and my mom had to pay like fifty dollars for a little like regular ass sheet cake. Yeah. Nothing nothing crazy about it. Just a regular sheet also, cake. Inflation been crazy. Inflation is out of this fucking it, world. So everything a little bit more. That's what that thirteen dollars an hour sounds crazy nowadays, but it's like it's really not even that the thirteen dollars an hour should have been like when we graduated, bro. Yeah. Like I'd be like cause unfortunately not unfortunately, but I like uh made my sister the um what do you call it? Like she, her name is on my card too. I added her to my oh, card. Yeah. I was oh, like, that, a, is that it... increased your rates? Hmm? Did it increase your rates? No. No. No, it didn't increase anything. Uh, it raised her fucking. She has like a seven fifty credit score. Um, <laughs> How old is your sister again? She just she's eighteen. She'll be oh, nineteen. She'll be nineteen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I still think she's still in high school for whatever. Reason. Yeah. Well, she just got out. She ain't too far well, away. I mean, that's a, that. That's kind of the view that I feel like older like. I understand when when my parents say that to me, it was like, oh, I still see you as like my baby. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, no, because I keep on thinking like, Maurice's sister and Angelo's sister are like, still middle school or high school. I, f I forget it all the time. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I'd be like, she'd be going somewhere. I'm like, where the fuck are you going? She'd be like, I'm going to work. <laughs> work. <laughs> what? Or she'll be she'll come be coming back in the house. I'm like, oh, where you was at with your friends? She's like, no, I was at work. I was like, what? What do you mean you're at work? <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Literally, like, get the fuck out of here. And then she like, I don't know. And then, oh, and then she she killed me the other, like, a couple weeks ago. She was like, uh, oh, because her, her and her girlfriend wanted to go to uh, the Drake concert in Ohio. <laughs> and was like, and was like, yeah, we're going to get a hotel or something and, and drive up there. I was like, who the fuck do you think you are? Drive to a Drake concert Drake. and get a hotel? What are you doing? I'm like, bro, sit your ass down. You're a fucking middle I'm, schooler. Uh, I'm just most impressed that <laughs> they were able to secure fucking Drake tickets. No, well, they, they, were gonna, you... they were going to save up for it. They hadn't bought them yet, but that was like their plan. She was yeah. telling me the plan. I mean, even if like, I looked at it, I was like, general mission, 600. I was like, do I do it? What do I do? I, was just I like, feel like Mariah would do it. Nah, Mariah, Mariah, Mariah did it. <laughs> Mariah did it. He, nah. he already been there. He a CLB, it. bro. He a CLB. He a, oh he a CLB. No, that shit yeah, is just wild. Get it tatted. They're saying Dak Prescott was knocked out and put under sedation for 11 hours while he got a, la a leg tattoo back in March. They said he got a, a, a tattoo that features Daffy Duck doing Dak's signature touchdown celebration, the Dallas skyline, and a sign from the Pine Creek Estates mobile home park in Louisiana where Prescott grew up. There are also images of a black mamba for Kobe Bryant, a Jumpman logo for Michael Jordan, and a picture of Muhammad Ali. So he was under sedation for 11 hours to get this tattoo. I, I thought you I could mean, be sedated when you got a tattoo. I thought so too. And I, mean, I don't think it's safe. You can do whatever you want. You really can. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the doctors are like, yo, we, we shouldn't do this. It's like, yo, I, I got money. And they're like, hey, well, get them up, guys. Uh, that's crazy. There's I wouldn't trust anybody to tattoo my body for 11 hours while I'm sedated. I, mean, I wouldn't want to be sedated for. Can you be sedated for 11 hours straight under yeah, the yeah. right supervision? Yeah. I feel yeah. like there's like a max where like they have to like bring you back or like there's a risk of like you going into a coma or something. No, I mean if you got money to really have someone to supervise that thing, I mean they could do it. Yeah. Is it that serious though? Like I, is a tattoo that serious where you have to? Because like be motherfuckers, put to sleep? motherfuckers have done like. 48 hour surgeries, 72 hour yeah, this is like that, but I mean, for the, the tattoo standpoint, like, yeah, if you want to do it, like an average person would have to do it over the course of a couple yeah, of days, do, something like that. You do like uh, sessions. sessions, you yeah. do sessions. All right, I'm gonna come back, we're gonna keep going. I mean, like, but 11 straight hours, I thought I would have, like, I would need like a person 
like that I trust with my life right there to make sure everything goes the way it's supposed to go. Especially because there's a lot on, at risk for this man. He's a, he's he's worth millions. Like, and your body is how you make your money. Like, I don't know. I just want to put that at like risk. A really good life insurance policy by now. Crazy. Yeah, but you can't spend it if you die. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, your family is like, yo, I hope this hey, nigga don't wake up. <laughs> hey, sometimes you gotta you gotta plant the tree so everybody else can eat. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, I mean, eleven hours. I mean, it's a lot. But I mean, hey, like once again, money buys, you know. It's not that serious. Then he didn't even get nothing crazy. It wasn't like a a mural of your mother or nothing. Then we got Daffy Duck, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Muhammad Ali, Kobe. Got the trailer home park where you grew up. I like mean, what? The season just started. He probably had to rush it. Oh, they had this was in no, this was in March. Oh, March. Yeah, this March. This was. They said this was back in March. My picture, mm -hmm. Damn, when it cut off. <laughs> Yeah, Alright, well then that's it though I just wanted to bring that one up We can wrap it up here My mom's calling me too Alright, that's another episode Of another damn podcast See you guys next time Hopefully that guy's back down there Peace Alright